Welcome to Canada Dream, our new YouTube channel. To work in your expected job in Canada, need some homework from you before you arrive in Canada. One of the main things is to get your credential assessed is really important. Let's find out how to get your credentials assessed in Canada. There are several steps in this process. The first step is to create a job market report. You can use the Canada Job Bank to create a report that will tell you useful information about your job such as, main duties, hourly wages, job description, if it's regulated, related job titles, job openings, training, the skills needed to do the job, contact information for your regulatory body, and apprenticeship authority. The link to the Canada Job Bank is provided in the details section. Find your occupational profile as the second step in this process. The Canadian Information Centre for International Credentials CICIC, has occupational profiles for many professions. The link to the Canadian Information Centre for International Credentials is given in the details section. The third step in this process is to compare your qualifications. Compare your qualifications with the requirements needed to work in that job in the province or territory where you'd like to live. This includes licensing, registration, and certifications. Decide what you need to do to meet those requirements. You may also need to compare your language skills with those needed for your job. Contact a regulatory body is the next step in this process. Contact the regulatory body or apprenticeship authority for your profession in your province or territory. They will tell you what you need to do to get a license or certification. You'll have to prove to them that you meet the same standards that people trained in Canada meet. This is shown through your training, experience, and other skills. In many cases, you can have your education credentials assessed and begin applying for a license or certificate before you leave your home country. The regulatory body or apprenticeship authority can tell you what steps you can take before you arrive in Canada. Your next step would be collecting documents. There are many documents related to your education and your experience that help explain your international qualifications to employers, regulatory bodies, and assessment agencies. Before you come to Canada, you can find out which documents you may need after you arrive and get copies of those documents. Documents that will help you in your search for a job in Canada include those that prove your work experience, educational record, and professional training. These documents are required when applying for licensing, certification, and registration in a regulated occupation. Documents you may need include degrees, diplomas or certificates from universities, colleges, secondary schools, trade schools and education related, transcripts of grades, program descriptions, syllabi related to your studies, letters from professional and other regulatory bodies, apprenticeship or professional certificates, employer letters of reference, performance reviews, and work descriptions for jobs you've done. You may need to send official documents directly from schools or other organizations to Canadian schools, employers, regulatory bodies, and credential assessment agencies. Before you leave for Canada, check with the right organization to find out what they need. Translate your documents. You may need to have your documents translated into English, French or both. Check the website or contact the regulatory body or apprenticeship authority to find whether you need to use an approved translation service. If so, you'll have to pay for the translation, give them original documents or whether you'll need a lawyer to notarize copies, provide certified translations. Missing documents If you can't get the documents you need, contact the regulatory body or apprenticeship authority and ask them what you should do. Consult an approved assessment agency. If you don't have to get your credentials assessed as part of getting your license, consider getting assessed by an approved assessment agency. It will help you show employers how your training compares with that of people trained in Canada. 
Once you have completed your assessment, you'll know whether you need to upgrade your skills or education to work in your occupation, should consider looking for a different job in your field or should look for a job in a different field. Upgrade your skills or education, it might be easier to find work if you get more training in your field of interest. You can, go back to school to upgrade your education, complete a training program or train in a new field. Here are some ways to find education and training opportunities in Canada to help you qualify to work in the job you want look up your occupation or job in job bank. The education and job requirements section of the report lists the schools you can attend to get the education you need. It also has links to educational and career planning resources. You can find the websites of professional regulatory bodies and apprenticeship agencies, where you can get more information. Develop to help you get a job, succeed at work and adapt to change. Visit the Government of Canada Training and Careers website. If you want to continue your studies in Canada, visit the websites of the universities and colleges or by contacting the following institutions Colleges and Institutes Canada, Association of Universities and Colleges of Canada or Canadian Information Centre for International Credentials. Canadian citizens and permanent residents may be eligible to apply for a student loan or grant. Eligibility depends on the type of course you want to take in the province or territory where you live. Since it takes time to get licensed, you may need to work in a job related to, but not in, your profession while you wait. Working in a related job will give you an opportunity to earn money while your credentials are being assessed, use your knowledge and skills, learn work-related language, get Canadian work experience and connect and network with other professionals. Consider working in a job that is not related to your profession if you are interested in changing careers. Job opportunities in your profession are not available. You need to find any kind of job immediately. Your credentials are not equivalent to Canadian standards or it would take too much time, effort and money for you to meet the standards. We hope this video was helpful in preparation to work in your dream job in Canada. We will see you in our next video. Until then stay tuned with us. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss anything.